someone's identity was defrauded in North America every two minutes. Within a year from that, it was every 30 seconds. We can't even track it anymore. Here comes the suspect in the red hat. And what he's doing now is attaching the card reader to that ATM. Fraudsters are sophisticated in their attacks, anywhere from looking over your shoulder, memorizing your pin, or being more sophisticated in using things like pinhole cameras. They can do whatever they want when they get that pin number. The people who do these types of crimes, they're looking for the quick hit. These victims, um, they do come from all walks of life. Very well educated, very wealthy, not so wealthy. Someone had skimmed my account. I knew that I'd been defrauded and I knew that I needed money. They shouldn't have picked me. The fraud schemes that have been thought up by criminals around the world have become more and more sophisticated. The losses to date were something in excess of $148,000 US. People have lost their entire income, retirement, savings, everything's gone. It's pretty hard. It really is. I was a victim of identity theft. We found reams and reams of papers that had handwritten notes, uh, victim information, victims' names, dates of birth, addresses. I know that they had my address, and you know, sometimes I'd be at home by myself. I was scared. Fraud perpetrators get the, the names and addresses of potential victims in a variety of ways. He had a book of business of the near dead, near dead. He had the oldest clients that you could get that, were, that had money. We committed a mortgage fraud from the inside out. He said, uh, I thought you were dying. I was going to get your money. He should suffer for a long time. Prison's not fun. You don't forget the smells, you don't forget the noises, you don't forget the people. When I got out of prison in 97 and off parole, I set out to beat the system again. I had a very good friend who was a stockbroker. He had a pump and dump scheme. I referred to Michael Holliday as a pickpocket in an Armani suit. He stole somewhere, something beyond $20 million. Eventually, it will all catch up with you. Somebody will put it together. They'll figure out what you're doing. They'll figure out where you're at, and they'll come get you. <laughs>